What's up guys, Todd Kelly, Shoe Shop Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing an end of season review on the Stone Glacier Alpine Gator. I purchased these things in September. I got close to 30 days in the field hunting here in British Columbia for mule deer, whitetail and moose. I hunted a lot of steep nasty country with a lot of rocks and brush old burns uh, so I put a lot of wear and tear on these over the season and I have to say these are the most comfortable durable gators I've ever used you can tell there was a lot of thought put into the materials they used and the design a big part of the comfort of these gators comes from the additional velcro that they have sewn in uh, because of this elk extra velcro you can get a really custom fit around your leg uh, so the gator stays up on its own uh, without having to do this top strap super tight. Other gators I've worn, you need to really cinch this top strap down to keep them up. And that makes it uncomfortable because uh, it's a bit of a pinch point on them. This top strap with the stone glacier has elastic sewn in on the back end of it. So there's a ton of flex and stretch into it. And because you don't need to do this strap tight you just snug it up and that's it and that elastic bends and stretches with your leg as you're moving the next thing is the uppers this fabric is really flexible and stretchy waterproof and really breathable and because it's got so much stretch and flex into it it really moves with your leg uh, increasing the comfort factor of them and they're the only gator at the end of the day when I've been wearing them uh, that I don't want to tear them off. Uh, you don't uh, even notice that you're wearing these throughout the day. The bottoms, Cordura with X-Pack underneath. Everyone kind of knows how Cordura wears, really tough material. I have a tiny little bit of fuzz on mine from going through a ton of rocks, uh, but no holes or nicks or anything in it. I uh, held up really well. The X-Pack material underneath, Super durable, waterproof, and the nice thing about it is it gets some structure to it. So after a few days of wearing these, the cordure or the uh, X-Pack material kind of forms to your boot and they hold that structure of it, which is nice. The bottom bootstrap, their Contrail bootstrap, Dyneema rope, aluminum buckle, held up really well. Uh, mine came with a plastic coating over top of it. Uh, from what I read online, a few guys were having some issues with a bit of snow sticking to the Dyneema rope. So I'm guessing that's why they added the uh, plastic coating over top of it. The Dyneema itself held up really well. Tiny little bit of fuzz on it, but no nicks or cuts in it. Uh, really nice bootstrap. One thing is, is it does lose its color really fast. As Kurt mentions in the video, uh, one or two days out in the field, it goes from gray to white. And that's just the dye leaching out has no effect on the durability or the strength of the Dyneema rope itself. So don't worry about it changing colors. The aluminum buckle here, lightweight, durable, does have some scratches on it from going through rocks, but no other wear on it. Uh, the webbing strap for it held up really well. No issues there. Uh, there's a couple different ways that you can weave the tail through the webbing keepers. Um, I'll show you on this one. I'll show you on this one actually. I did this once on my initial setup and I never had to adjust it again. I never had the tails come loose and flap around at all. So once you get your initial fitting on your boot, you can take the gator off, get your webbing, the tail of it. And there's a couple webbing keepers here. First one, you want to go underneath. The second webbing keeper here, instead of going up, come over the top and back down. And depending on how much extra tail you have, you can feed it down through the next webbing keeper. It's a little finicky to do. You might need a little flathead screwdriver to help push this webbing down, but you only need to do this once on the initial setup. Uh, once you have this fed through, Mine stayed for the entire season and they never came loose. Uh, if you were changing to a different boot, 
throughout the year and you had to change the length of this you might have to adjust it but uh, kind of a one and done thing here uh, really nice not having a ton of extra webbing flapping around loose as I said it's a little finicky to do I'll not gonna waste your time me doing it here but once it's set up nice and clean same with the top strap just tuck the extra back into the sleeve uh, they do have a little webbing keeper sewn in here but it's better off if you just feed that extra tail back into the sleeve itself uh, and it stays put really happy with these gaiters super durable as I said uh, well worth the money anyways if you have any questions comments uh, please don't throw those on down below hit the thumbs up if you like the video and if you're into more fishing, hunting, and gear review videos, uh, please subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching.